Good girls generally aren't. Anthony, you're not seriously considering hiring. Finally! My son comes to see me. I had no idea you'd be here. Why haven't you returned my calls? Go to see Lulu. Johnny! You continue to defy me and see what happens. Who was Spinelli talking to at Jake? Uh, Coleman, who else? Why are you being so weird about it? I just am worried that Spinelli's gonna start getting romantic advice from Coleman. Hmm, there's a scary thought. <clears throat> That's the thing that I love most about Spinelli, you know? He's, he's not like other guys. He's sweet and caring. He actually still believes in true love. Like what you and Johnny have. I mean, if Spinelli was gonna go to anyone for advice, that's who it should be. When did you become a fan of Johnny's? I don't have to like the guy personally to know that he's crazy in love with you. He defied his mobster father, gave up all that money and power just to start a life with you. It'd be crazy to not want a guy like that. Unless... Unless what? Well, please don't take this the wrong way, but... Are you really in love with Johnny? Or do you think you just need to be? Okay, tonight's real. Sure you want to do this, Dad? In public? In front of witnesses? I want you to come home. Is that so wrong? <laughs> Father's concerned, John. And he should be concerned. Let's talk about all the laws both of you broke trying to force me to come back. I will let you deal with your personal business, Mr. Zucconer. You've got my number. You were rude with strangers. That disappoints me. You framed me for assault and threatened to throw me in prison. That disappoints me. I'm doing this for your own good. John, it pains me to go to these lengths, but I'm trying to keep you from hurting yourself even worse. Oh, the spinmeister at work here. You're bringing this on yourself. I'm never coming back home. You got no power over me. Everything I'm building is for you. And you gave it all to Sonny, and he's the one who set me free. You got no hold on me anymore. John. The longer you defy me, the more people are going to get hurt. Eventually, it's going to be somebody you care about. You are in no position to be critiquing my relationship or anybody else's, for that matter. Lulu, I am just asking. Your parents have this, like, legendary love, and that's hard to live up to. I'm not... I'm not trying to live up to anything. You went out and found this renegade mob guy who everybody thinks is bad news and is just like your father? There is no comparison. Even Luke sees Johnny as a younger version of himself. My, Have you ever even listened to him? My dad just understands what it's like to... To be a rebel. No, to feel like you always have to prove something. Yeah, like it's the two of you against the rest of the world. Always on the run together, living out these big romantic adventures. Is any of this ringing a bell? I fell in love. Or you fell in love with the idea of what you think love is supposed to look like. Why, well, I'm sorry, why are you talking about this? I'm just trying to have a conversation with you. What is the sudden interest in this subject? Maybe it's because Johnny's living with us now and I get to see it all the time. Maybe it's because you need to get a life. Hey, if you love Johnny, great. I just think that you should be honest with yourself and fair to him. Oh, well, you are one to talk about being fair to a guy. And what is that supposed to mean? Really? Really? Um, the guy who would do anything for you, who is always around you no matter what? <laughs> Spinelli is my friend. You and Johnny, you're in a relationship, and he thinks you are the love of his life. He turned his back on his family, his money, the security. He gave up everything he has for you, Lulu. And if this is you just living out your parents' legend, Johnny deserves better. And eventually he's gonna figure that out for himself. Yeah. Your sister's not here. Yeah. 
You know, my father went through a lot of trouble to have me framed for assault, to put me in a corner so I'd have to turn to him for help. I came here to thank you in person for stepping in and getting the guy that I allegedly assaulted to recant his story. So you're just here to thank me? And to figure out why you went through all the trouble. Well, after my son disappeared, I blamed you. And uh, I threw you in that room, beat you down and all that. It wasn't right. Well, it's done. It's over. Forget about it. My father's a different story, though. People don't cross him without paying some sort of price. <laughs> I keep, you know, I keep hearing that. You know, when I was 16, I left home. I went to stay with my mother's cousin and his family. These were good people. People not at all affiliated with the mob. My father tracked me down and killed them all. Their only crime was putting a roof over my head and giving me some hot meals. This is before your dad was on meds, before, you know, they diagnosed him and all that? Yeah, there's no med on earth that can tame Anthony Sakara. Why do you seem a little proud when you say I'm that? I'm just saying, don't let the wheelchair fool you. And don't buy into this story that he's ready to retire and spend the rest of his life tending to the roses. I know your, your, your dad's planning to, you know, some kind of double cross and he, he's gonna pass it all down to you. I don't want it. I know what it takes to get to where you are. I've seen the cost. I don't want to be that guy. Well, you know what? I, I appreciate what you're trying to do, and uh, it's tough. And I hope you succeed. Thank you. I'd wish the same for you, but I don't think you want to succeed. I think you want to punish yourself for what happened to your son. All these choices you're making, taking over my family business, marrying my sister, a woman that you hate, is all because you blame yourself for what happened. I'm in your line of work, Sonny. It's the kind of stuff that'll get you killed. I told Lulu, Kate, no, I don't know where she is, but as soon as I send these facts to Federico, I will call her. What took you so long? Kate has called 50 times. She wants those scarves taken to her house. Did you get all of them? Uh, sorry, didn't get any scarves. Oh, sorry, I thought you were Lulu. Yeah, which means she's not here? No, please tell me you came by to tell her the truth, that you're not really working at the hospital. Why do you care whether I tell her the truth or not? Because, Johnny... If you keep up this lie and it blows up in your face, which it eventually will, you'll feel guilty and beat yourself up because you let Lulu down. Why do you even want to deal with that? Is this your way of telling me that you're worried about me? <laughs> yes, Kate. No, Maxie didn't call me, but I'm on my way back to the office now. It would be a gross exaggeration to say that I worry about you. You seem capable of taking care of yourself. Yeah, except for the fact that I can't find a job. You don't have a lot of experience. And I'm sure it doesn't help that when people hear your last name, they want to slam the door in your face and run for the hills. You saying I shouldn't try? No. I'm saying you should take a break and stop tying yourself in knots. I'm sure it doesn't help that Lulu cast you in the Luke Spencer role in the drama of her life. I'm not following. Do yourself a favor. Get online, look at old newspaper articles. Do some research on the infamous love of Luke and Laura. Bad mob boy meets girl next door. Then mob boy tries to go straight. Where are you going with this? Forget I mentioned anything. It's you and Lulu against the world, so good luck to both of you. So, anyway, I have work to do. You should get out of here. Johnny? No, he didn't call. 